Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create custom table view cell in Xcode 11 and Swift 5. This tutorial should work with Xcode 10 and Swift 4. Uh, this is a sample project which I already created. So we will create something exactly just like this. Let's get started. So I'll open up my Xcode, create a new Xcode project, single view app, and the product name will be custom, let's say custom cell table view fun and hit next, save it wherever you like. And I'll just select iPhone 11 here. So the next thing I'll do is drag and drop my images from my downloads folder. So here and I'll copy paste the variable which I already created and here so this will be my variable and hit save. So we are done with the other part now we will be just working on the Xcode. So first we need a table view so I'll say table view drag and drop over here and constraints will be zero from top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and this all will be constrained to margin so make sure it's selected add four constraints next thing we will do is uh, create a prototype cell so under size inspector just hit one under prototype cell go over here and select your table view cell and give it identifier country cell and hit enter Next thing, go to size inspector and under row height, uncheck automatic and give 100 in row height. So it should just get big like this. Uh, next thing we need is a view. So we will drag and drop a view, uh, just a normal view. And put it here, just make it a little smaller so that it fits inside our uh, content view and uh, let's give it some color so that we can see what's happening so this will be a light gray and let's give it some constraints so this will be zero from a uh, top zero from left zero from right and zero from bottom and this will be constrained to margin and add constraints next thing we need is an image view and drag and drop over here uh, make it a little bit smaller so that it fits inside here and it's next to here so let's give image view constraints so it will be eight from the left you know what let's make it zero from left and a fix width and height so both will be like around 60 not around exactly 60 and add this constraints so it should look something like this and next constraint we need is vertically in container and hit add one last thing we need is a label. So drag and drop over here and let's give label some constraints. So 10 from top, 10 from left, 10 from right and 10 from bottom and enter. And our label will be center aligned and font will be custom and I like every near next. So let's select every near next, demi bold and size will be 25 and done. And next thing, uh, color will be white and let's say it's India and let me select the image for India and so it should look something like this so another thing to note here is when you are selecting the image make sure like under size inspector uh, under attribute inspector under view your content mode is selected as aspect fit so yeah uh, next thing we need is a new Cocoa Touch class. So new file and this will be Cocoa Touch class. And I'll say country TVC and remove all this. Uh, make sure you are subclassing it to UI table view cell. Hit next and create. And you should see this file. So just go back to main.storyboard. Make sure you select country cell. Go here. Under this, something looks like a postcard. I think they call it class inspector or something like that. So under class, you will say name of the file you just created and hit enter. Next thing we need to do is connect all the stuff. And this is the fun part, like connecting it. So first, this is my view controller where I drag and drop the 
countries variable. So control drag your table view and this will be my country table view and hit enter. And next thing we need to connect is our view, like our cell. So make sure you select your content view. Don't select country cell or something like that or select something below country uh, content view and click here and country TVC. So now we will first connect our views and this will be country view. This is just the view, okay? Now I'll do control drag for the image and this will be country IMG view. And last thing which remains is the label. And this goes here. And this will be country LBL and connect. So we are done with all the connection part. So I'll just close this, hop over to view controller and let's start coding. First, we need to assign delegate and data source to our table view. So country table view dot delegate is equal to self and country table view dot data source is equal to self. And okay, so we need two protocols. Actually, we just need one protocol right now. So first create extension of view controller and this will be UI table view data source and open bracket actually we don't need delegate right now so let's just take it out and under data source first we uh so in order to confirm to protocol ui table view data source we need two functions like they are required so that's what this red thing is about and first one is number of rows in section and this will be our countries dot count and next thing is a cell you know like we need to define what kind of cell we need to return so let's create a cell this will be country table view dot tq reusable with identifier now this identifier comes from here like uh, i told you to assign when you select your prototype cell and open up this and under attribute inspector this is the identifier okay so if you did not do it, make sure you give an identifier over here. So hop over to view controller and this will be country cell. And next thing we need to do is cast it as our country TVC. So once again, this is this file which we created. I think it's not saved. Let me save it and here and just return this cell. So we are golden. Okay. And we return the cell. Okay. Uh, next thing, now we can access all the properties from our country TVC. So first thing, let me give the label and dot text equal to, let me create one constant. This will be let country, uh, and this will be countries index path dot row so this will like fetch the country at particular row from the table view and now we can assign it over here and this will be country and this will be cell dot country image view dot image is equal to ui image and this will be named and once again just pass in country here and let's run the app and see how it looks Uh, this is the previous one. Let me keep it here and keep this one here. Uh, okay, so this is iPhone 11. And still running, still running. Okay, uh, not that good, but still good. Uh, we need to modify some stuff. First of all, I don't like the separators. So let me take that off. And I'll do... Making table view look good so this will be country table view dot separator style and this will be none and another thing i don't like to see the scroll bar like on the right side so i'll remove that 
so vertical scroll indicator and this will be false and let's run the app again and see what changes we made okay no separators but uh, we still have the problem like this image is going off the height you know so the thing is we need to have one more function over here and this will be height and each height for height oh okay i think uh, we need the delegate part so let me just do it again and this will be country table view dot delegate is equal to self and here we need a protocol which is ui ui table view delegate and here now we can try to do this again and now yeah this is what we want we want height for row at index path and we will return the height which we assign like statically so this will be 100 and let's run and see how it looks now looks pretty good so the only thing which remains is we need this the roundness right so let's just go ahead and do the last part and that we will do under cell for row at index path and here we will say make a cell look good so first of all the cell dot cell view uh, country view dot layer dot mm, corner radius and this will be cell dot country view dot frame dot height and by two so this will make it like perfectly round you know and next thing is like images are already round but let me still do it so this will be country image view dot layer dot corner radius so in case if you had like square pictures this will make them round so cell dot uh, country uh, image view dot height uh, frame dot height and this will be by two and uh, one more thing which we need to do is go back to main dot storyboard and select your image view and go here and under um, attribute inspector make sure clips to bound is selected and uh, yeah if it's not selected make sure you select it and hit run again yeah pretty much it uh, this looks really good. Okay, the, we, we don't have the spacing. So let's add the spacing. It's just a constraints is, uh, issue. So go back to size inspector and we will say horizontal and leading space edit and add like 10 or something. And let's run the app again. And this time it should be like perfectly similar. Got it. Now it looks pretty good and neat. So if you have any questions, uh, you can post them in the comments. Uh, if you like my video, hit like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time.